But in a hadith with Jim Ibn Asakir is related, a weak hadith on the authority of Anas, a man died, and the only thing that he knew was Surah Al Mulk. So, you know, the reason I'm relating this, you know, people, are, there are many guys that don't know how to read the Quran. Yeah, this guy only knew Surah Mulk, only Surah Mulk. Now he's died, he's inside his grave, and Allah sent the angels to punish him. The angel of punishment comes inside his grave. The angel of punishment comes. Surah Mulk is also there and is standing between him and the punishment. So the angel says, move out of the way. You're, the, you're from the book of Allah and I don't want to harm you, but I haven't got a choice. Allah has told me to punish him. If you want to intercede and protect him, then go ask the Lord of the Arshan Kursi. The Surah will go to the Almighty Allah and say, oh Allah, you know this servant of yours, out of your entire book, he would intend for me and he would come and recite me. Oh Allah, are you going to punish him today with the fire whilst I'm inside his heart? And if you're going to do this, oh Allah, then I want you to remove me from your book. Allah is the Arhamul Rahimin, the Akramul Akramin, the Ajwadul Ajwadin. He needs excuses, my young friends, to give you paradise. Will you give him that excuse? You know, every time you do a deed, let this thought come, come, come cross your mind. You know what? Maybe this is the one. And I swear by Allah, you will do many good deeds. And every time you sin, let this thought cross your mind. You know what? Maybe this is the one as a result of which Allah will send me to Jahannam. And you know what? You won't commit any sin. When you do good, let the thought cross your mind. Maybe this is the one that will Allah will like and He will give me paradise. And when you wrong, let this thought cross your mind. Maybe this is the one that He will hold me to account for and you will never sin. So the, 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 the surah will say, oh Allah, take me out from your book. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, okay, it seems that you've become angry. The surah will say, oh Allah, do I have the right to become angry? He would recite me and you're punishing him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, your intercession has been accepted. You do with him as you please.